Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here, and it is Winter Wonderland Day, uh, and we are making it in autumn colors. Here is the weather vane block for today, and we also are doing leaves. Now, the leaves I don't expect you to make all this week. I think that it's great to get them early here so that you can make them as you're working each week. So to sort of break it down however like you like to work yourself. Uh, and that will be what the leaves are. You might uh, cut everything this week and then next week sew strips and then sew sewing flips, you know, that kind of a thing. Remember they are two, going two different directions. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you before we look at fabrics for the block is my fall frolic. So I have got all of this laid out up here doing the setting. So I pinned up the pattern onto my design wall and that way it's just right there. I laid out the squares first in the colors so that I got the color, color you know, balance that I wanted. And then because I wrote this so that you are doing them in sections, like that, you know, they're doing it in sections, then I can just pick them up and easily sew different sections. Now they still have the paper on them. So I still have the paper on them because I'm using the way with the paper and I will cut, pull the paper off now as I'm going along. So this top row does not have any paper. I've taken it all off of there. Plus just to save space on the wall, these units actually are uh, vertical units but I just put them horizontal just to save space on, on the wall so I don't have to reach all the way up to the top just to get them. I'm just doing it for coloration and that doesn't change. So let's take a look at this and the one that I made in with red polka dots. If you're using the kit, then you're going to get out your chapter two bag. Everything is totally marked. And we just want to open that up and show you because you can still get kits. So if you want to do this with us, ah, exciting, exciting stuff. So let me just show you what's going on in the kit first. You've got the background chambray, which uh, is a little bit different fabric. So some of you are noting that, that this is a fabric, a type of fabric that you've not worked with before. It is a little bit um, oh, more open weave which means when you cut it, you will have a little bit more fraying on the edges. If you want to starch this, that'll help control that. I'm, I come from a garment making background, so fabrics that are like this are just not, they don't even register on my radar that they're different. They're just fabric. I uh, happen to have maybe a few little more threads. But anyways, for those of you that this is a totally new kind of fabric, I hope you're enjoying it because it's a lot of fun to work with. When you're doing the weather vane, you're using the background plus the orange plus that little dot. So it's this one with the little, little, little tonal dot and that'll make the weather vane and then you will be using the background again and all four of the other prints for the leaves. So there you go. Now the leaves are, here, so I did, here's some leaves with all the different fabrics in them, which I think is so fun. I love these little deer. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Look how cute they are. So you're going to do leaves going both ways. Uh, the book has that, so just you know, follow the book. Uh, totally good. If you want, to, if you had an earlier kit, you can print a new one of these pages off today at my website, which has a, the the discussion on flipping these. So I am going to make the weather vane block. I'm doing just some of the blocks. So I've got over here, well here, here's all my packages and all my stuff I'm doing, keeping, it, keeping track of it for my project. But let me just rotate this a little bit. So I did the mushroom with the big dot. And for the weather vane, I decided, yep, I'm going to do a weather vane with a dot and the same background. So maybe I'll do uh, several of these blocks like this and figure out then a layout for the table runner because I'm thinking, I know I want to do the gnome and the hedgehog and the owl would be a lot of the critters and I'll do this one and I'll maybe sprinkle in a couple of other little things. I don't know if I'll do a flower for that or not, but I, I'll need to make some and then design some sort of table runner that uses just th these parts. So I decided that I would look at the dots 
Now here's the weather vane, so you can get an idea of, you know, really the scale of the dot. Because remember last time when I did the mushroom, I wanted to get a dot that, you know, I, I used, ended up using this dot, which had a lot more room in between this, the dots, versus this one here, which they're much closer together, or this one, which they're really close together. So for here, I'm leaning towards this dot, using it where the green is. This dot would also look really good. Either one would look good, but there's not much of this and I think I'd like to use it up. So I, I did a little calculation and there is, there is enough. So I'm going to use this one. And then I remembered I had some scraps from, I don't even know what I made, honestly. Uh, but I knew that I had more of this uh, put away to do an Oh My Stars with what was left over from the other, oh, I know this is from the book, pro book project. So I, had, I went in the scraps and I was able to get three of the units. So one, two, three, remember this is, so this will be going in the middle. And then I had kept off uh, what was left to do an Oh My Stars and there is, there is the print. So I can get my fourth one and cut it out cut these for here and then I will have white just like the mushroom. So there you go. I will be getting the same sort of feel with sort of blacks and reds. I think that's the way I'll go with all of it. Black, reds and use the white. I might get more of this polka dot. I think I have it like in with another project somehow. You know how that goes. So if you're, when you're, if like you will be, when you're making your half square triangles for this pattern, which goes up here. That's where it goes. Uh, when you're making the half square triangles, Joanna wrote it as uh, taking a square, cutting it in half on the diagonal, and then sewing your triangles that way. So you're going to be doing your squares, right sides together, uh, cut them in half, and then sew. These, they will be a little bit oversized, uh, and then you cut them down to the size needed for, for these units. And that's the way she does it. Now, if you want to do yours a different way, you certainly can. Uh, for me, that's perfect with this small dot that I'm using because I have to be really frugal. You know, I don't have much of this dot. I'm just going to be able to get what I need out of it. So I need to be super frugal with that. Here it is. Ta-da! I just love it. Those dots are maybe a little too small, hmm, but... I used up most of it, so I have just this piece and, well, I had a couple little scraps and this left. So that's all I have. This will go in the scraps. This, well, these will go to, to reuse into my string, my scrap, my crumb. There we go, crumb blocks. Um, so what you're gonna do this week, oh, wait, 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 I, wait, wait, wait. Those teeny tiny little square and a square. Look, I used the cutoffs from the half square triangles and then some little scraps. They're so tiny and cute. Look, I don't know. I might be going nuts with that. I have three now. I might be making more. Okay, you're going to make your weather vane this week and see how far you get on your leaves because I know there's a stack of leaves. Got a stack, stack, stack. I'm getting them out of the bag here. I'm keeping them tidy. So, you know, you have two stacks. So they're gonna, they're not hard, but they're gonna take you a little bit. Uh, if you wanna try pressing them open, that's a fun thing to do, uh, to try on these, pressing your seams open. So I have those two. Oh, and for those of you who like to see the seams, there's the back of the weather vane. All right, let's take, let's have a little talk now about the charity quilt of 2022. And I wanna show you the fabrics I'll be using for my version of, what's it called? Heartfelt, 2022, the charity quilt for Make-A-Wish is Heartfelt, so let's take a look at that. Just before the charity quilt, I wanna remind you that the Jolly Mystery Box for Christmas, their Christmas Mystery Box at the Fat Quarter Shop is now available to pre-order, so the link is below and at my website today because they're just so fun. Okay, 
The charity quilt along for 2022 is called Heartfelt and the Fat Quarter Shop's doing a kit like they always do and theirs is absolutely spectacular. It is so gorgeous. I am using a different line of fabric. They will carry this fabric, but there's no kit, no kit from, for the fabrics I'm using, but they will have the fabric. It is not out yet. It's a brand new fabric line by Shelley Cavanaugh for Benertex. And it's called, um, ah, what is this called? Gatherings gatherings so come take a look i will show you the fabric so these are the fabrics that i'm using and in the uh the the digital version that you saw uh that is what's you know what is all made up of okay so there's the background which has got this cool design so i'm just going to show you these there's a navy little with nice little daisies i like this spiral the scale is great there's small there's medium uh, there's you know larger scale so here's the same print that I'm using like the background is in pink so there's lots of pink blue navy look at how gorgeous that is I like this one with the buds the flower buds the light blue there's a bit of aqua here's another one of the flowers in it so nice raspberry red some green more aqua lighter aqua that's the same design as the background and in the raspberry red a pop of yellow a little bit of light green and the aqua so those are the uh those are the fabrics that i will be using now the way the fat quarter shop does this is because it's for charity and they're you know earning accumulating the money for make a wish they do a little um, fun thing where they have the thermometer and is and it, you have to get a, a certain amount of donations before they release the supply list early the supply list will come out but you can get it to come out early if you donate early and that is an encouragement and fun they also do through the whole so along as the different increments are met they release extra free patterns so it's a lot of fun uh, all of you are so amazingly generous for make a wish uh, and so i want you to encourage you to uh, unlock that supply list early so that you can get your fabric <laughs> so, okay a couple other things book update book update book update <laughs> see this box that box is the last bit of my next my book after the next book so there's a there's a, there's a next book which has already been delivered earlier this year and then this is the book after it which will be for the fall or possibly winter of 2023 so a long time from now you'll forget i even talked about it but it's done it's off everything is finished yes okay Whew. that was uh it's good to get it done yeah good to get it done i haven't done two books in a year in a while uh, so that was that was fun it was fun i like it it's going to be fun you'll love it okay you are going to make up your make up your blocks today get your woodland wonderland and remember, you don't have to make all of these this week. You have the entire sew along. So I would recommend making a few of them or doing it in parts. Maybe cut some strips and cut the squares this week. Next week, maybe you start sewing and then subcutting and then doing the sewing flips. You know, so every week sort of add part of it to the whatever else you're doing for the week. Okay, so don't like overstress. Don't try to make all of these in this in one week because that might be more than you want to do. So that's why it's early so that you have time to get them all done. Okay, my friend, I love you. Mwah. See you online.